Good morning, good afternoon, whatever it is, wherever you are. It's me, Jen Janello. And it is the 18th of November. It is a Wednesday. We are halfway through the week and more than halfway through the month. And we are still reading with the Cat Tarot Deck, which is a tarot deck that is created by Julia Smiley and illustrated beautifully in watercolor kind of thing with by Megan Lynn Tott. And I think they're really fun. I love cats. So I think this is a great deck. And it was gifted to me by my dear friend and co-host, Mary. And if you're interested in the hilarious side of judging book covers and books by their cover, uh, check out the links in the description for casing the cover, where Mary and I will pick apart uh, all kinds of book covers, books, and sometimes even movies. We pick out some things. So without further ado, as I'm dropping cards, let's see what card we have for this wonderful Wednesday. Okay, so as I said, I try to remind you guys that I'll pick a card and I'll pick it inverted or upright. This one did happen to come up inverted, but I'm going to turn it upright so I can talk about it and then we'll talk about what the inverted means. So it came up the star and the star in this case there are the three stars at the top, which is very typical of the star card. But also, this is, she's just kind of tipping the water over instead of kind of being in the water, which I wouldn't expect any of the cat cards to be in water. Uh, cats are not typically fans of water. So what I love about this is that it is a cat knocking over a glass, which they are wont to do. And the star is about finding your truth and finding your like authentic self, so to speak. And there is nothing more authentic to a cat than knocking stuff off the counter. So I kind of love this. Although if you're not a cat fan and you're not a cat person, why would you own this deck? But if you're not a cat person and you also don't know very much about the tarot, you probably wouldn't get the kind of inside joke of this one uh, and it might confuse you a little bit where it's like the cat is just knocking water over what what is the point of that but I think it's brilliant this is one of the ones that if I will get a good laugh if it ever comes up in a reading that yes you should be your authentic self and knock aside anything that gets in your way and be no holds barred about it unapologetic that if it's in your way, it deserves to get knocked down, and that's just the way of it. So the star card typically will come up if you are kind of seeking the answer to where should you go, and what is your true path, and are you on the right like road to success? The star card will show up to kind of remind you, yeah, you're good, you're fine, you're doing great, this is exactly where you need to be. If it comes up inverted, it doesn't necessarily mean the opposite of that, where you're not on the right path. It just might mean you've got to knock a few obstacles out of the way in order to get what you want. The star card is very much that kind of go get them sort of energy. And I love when this card comes up for younger people who seem like they're kind of lost. They're not really sure what to do with their lives yet and they need some guidance. Well, in a very, like, pun intended sort of way, follow your guiding star is the what I get out of this card. And having it be a cat who's knocking things off the table is just all the more driven home with that point of don't let anything stand in your way and don't let anything stop you from taking care of business as it needs to be. If that's in your way, if that's bothering you, you just knock it aside. You'd be done with it. If you're having a bad day and you just feel like knocking something off of a counter, you just go ahead and knock that off the counter. Don't be mad about it. Just be like, meh, this is not worth my time. This is not worth my energy. I'm just going to get it out of my way. So I kind of love that. I think it's kind of funny. I... Again, do I think that this card is easy to read if you are not adept at the tarot and not familiar with the cards and their symbology? Yeah, I think this one's going to confuse you, but it is really funny to somebody who owns cats and understands the tarot and understands what the star card means. It just, it's, I can't stop smiling. This card is just so fantastic and so perfect. 
in so many ways. But again, that's only because I know what the card means and I can get the joke. And that's kind of been this card deck altogether is either I don't get the joke that they were going for or I get the joke, but I don't think somebody else who's new at tarot will get the joke. But otherwise, I think it's a really beautiful card, really fun, and I I just think it's so funny. And I just I'm trying not to just burst out laughing at this card. It's so great. On the flip side of this, the more traditional card is usually a woman who is sort of standing with one foot in the waters of life and looking to her guiding stars for answers and following her true self. The great thing about this card on a Wednesday and like in the middle of the month is that it's a bit of a reminder. We're moving forward, we're doing well, and we're doing the very best we can. Learning along the way and finding our own path and striking out. And I think that that's a big deal on like a Wednesday and mid-month and so close to the end of the year. We've got like six weeks left to this crazy year that we've had. And yet the star card comes out to remind us, hey, it's all good. You're on the right path. Knock aside those obstacles. Keep on moving forward. Enjoy it while you can and really embrace it in a way because authenticity and finding your higher self and connecting to that sometimes comes through some trials and some obstacles that you just have to be okay with and move past and push past. So I think this is a really fun card. I think I've said that enough throughout this this little reading. And it did come up inverted. So in that case, you know, it is about knocking past those obstacles rather than just kind of coasting through and finding your authentic self. So while you're not knocking obstacles over, I remind, do it with love and good intention and not just to like blast things out of the way because they're annoying you. Just be like, mm, not my thing, not my problem. I'm just going to get this out of the way and it's I don't want to deal with it anymore. So it's not really an avoidant thing and it's not an aggressive thing. It's a, this is not for me. This means nothing to me. I need to move on. I need to get rid of it or move past it and find greater things for myself. So I think it's a great reminder in the middle of the week to kind of keep on pushing for the weekend and also great one for the mid month to keep on pushing till the end of the month. So as always, if you are interested in learning more about the tarot, please check out the links in the description below. I have a Discord channel as well as lots of other crazy things going on. And if you like this video, check out the playlist at the end of this so you can see all of the other cards we've looked at with the Cat Tarot as well as cards that we've been looking at. Yes, I finally looked it up. We have been doing this since the end of April. That's like a really long time and I'm impressed that I stuck with it this long. I'm sticking with it to the end of the year and then maybe I've got some fun new surprises and things for 2021 because I just think this is a lot of fun and it's a good way for me to kind of poke at tarot decks that I don't normally get to look at because you know you kind of stick to one all the time and if you are interested in books and book covers and a hilarious podcast I'm totally not biased about check out the links in the description for casing the cover and check out the YouTube channel for casing the cover there's so many weird things that we talk about and I absolutely love it I'm so not biased we're hilarious till next time stay safe Stay healthy, stay happy, and I will see you soon. Bye!